Welcome to On Off, or On Dot Off, uh, indie horror game made by the same person who made the Burger and Frights game? I'm not sure what I'm uploading first, but it's made by the same developer made with the horror game I played recently, or something like that, where you're on a bicycle and burgers. You're, you're on a bicycle riding on the road, something like that. But either way, we're uh, going to try out this game, On Off. Is something in the dark with you? With the nice light switch. You get to click. It's got this nice gradual smooth animation where it's like me clicking my mouse rapidly, which, you know, has it so I do this. And we're meant to just, you know, play casually, quietly, with minimal commentary, perhaps we will find out as we switch off and enjoy the darkness. Some good shit. Depends how much of you are afraid of the dark. And nothing there. Depends. Maybe you should like watch this video at night with the lights off and the only thing that's lighting up your room is the monitor. Because then you will experience what I'm looking at. Except for, you know, my room being lit and, you know. But yeah, just, I don't know. I think it would be probably cool if people watched this video in complete darkness and the only thing you see is this light switch and whenever I turn on the light switch so your monitor will only show this light switch. But we're meant to just embrace the game. Let the game fuck with us. Get us a little paranoid. I don't know how long we can last of not turning on the light switch before we die, or game progression only happens when the light is off, and when it's on, it pauses, is what I'm assuming the scripting or coding would be like. What a... Huh? Hmm... Can I turn it back on? It's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. No worries, no worries. Oh. That was it! Oh, that was so short! It's good, though. Good, but short. That's unfortunate. I was like three minutes long. Just, just three moons. But again, I'd, I'd presume it's based on... Hmm. There's multiple ways I could imagine the coding is. One is a checkpoint system where it's like, after waiting a certain point of time, let's say, in the dark, ten seconds of progress or five seconds, and then once you hit the light switch, it does not like a check mark sort of thing where it's like, okay, now on to stage two. And then stage two only begins to do a countdown when the lights are off for a certain amount of time, and you have to wait. And if like the light, if you turn the light on, it pauses the progress. But we have to have a total amount of time in darkness before the next stage, sort of thing. Or it's as I originally thought, more simplification of light off equals progress. Period. No checkpoints. Either or. Interesting concept. Short though. Unfortunate. Um. So I'm guessing when I upload this will be only then when I find a, a second game to play with this, so it can be a two-in-one horror video. So, mm, that just means when I talk about the bicycle game, that have already been up, that, that, that would have already been updated, like uploaded on my channel already. But anyways, same person, but what they make is interesting. And I, I, I'm, I'm happy I looked through their library and I was like, hey, I didn't play this. I did, however, play another one of their games. What was it? Oh, hang on. I'll just click it. View all by donuts. I didn't play... Bounce. Is, is this a horror game? No, this is a platformer. I like their horror games. They got shooter action puzzle. I remember playing Dredder. I did play Dredder. And we played on off here. And I hadn't played this. Maybe I could should go back even further. I remember seeing Mirror VR, but since it didn't work with Valve Index, I couldn't record that. Uh, and then Burger and Frights. 
Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah, let's just go to the next horror video. Welcome to a game name I probably can't pronounce because it sounds European, but Naklati? Naklati? I don't know. Game I found on itch.io. Another day of working as a diver starts for you. Sure, the guy you get your jobs from is a little shady, but it pays well. Better get to work. It's a first-person adventure game made for the HPS1 Summer of Shivers Jam. And, uh, I don't know, looked interesting. Yeah, give it a go. Why not? Why not? Work for you. Truck has crashed into a lake. From a bridge. Valuables in the rear. Good money if you go get it. <laughs> Valuables in the rear. <laughs> I better go get my gear from the basement. Oh. Nice quaint little house. You got your... You got your... Uh, sink? You got your oven. You got your mini fridge. Your oven. Your... Hopefully dishwasher, but probably not. No, no dishwasher. Picture of a cat. A tiny, tiny TV. Oh my god. Oh no. Fireplace in every single room. So where's the basement? Wait, where am I going again? Phone. Where's phone? Phone? Do you see basement? Is basement this way? Or basement in here? I think he's saying something about basement. What about here? Oh. Ah, here we go. This flashlight surely is crap. Where was I going? Oh, scuba gear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yoink. Now to, time to head out to the car. Alright. Gotta remember. Car. No distractions. No nothing else. Although, I am... Wait, do both these go to the same area? Well, that's weird. One door leads... Two, two doors lead to the... Weird. What? Eh, whatever. Where's the volume, though? There's no music. It's kind of weird, but oh well. Bird. I get to just enjoys my footsteps, just like in Diablo 1 days. Oh yeah, we were meant to go to the car. I'm already getting distracted. I'm kind of curious what's in here. If we can... Nope. We can't. Pretty visuals. Just like PlayStation 1 days. I mean, no, actually, PlayStation 1 wouldn't be able to handle this, I don't think. It's both... Retro and also not. I don't know. Either way. Car. Uh, I can't read that. Crashed car in the deep. Under the bridge, they say. What could go wrong? It's not as if this is a horror game. Oh, wait. Everything was going fine. Oh, why is it going in my eye? Seriously. I woke up with an eyelash in my eye, so I try to like wet my finger and like try to like maybe like touch my eyeball and make it in hope that the hair like, you know gets on my finger and gets off my eye. No, nope, it just vanishes within my eye like it, grossly. I don't know, man. Where, oh. oh. The leg. Has someone already been in here? A skull. What? What? Uh, we need we need air. Or less wait. Oh, bubbles? Um can I where where am I going? Um uh, Car? Maybe I get oxygen from the bubbles. Ah oh, wait. That, that wasn't good enough. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, how do I use it? How do I use... Um... It's... I... I... I wasn't told how to use it! Um... Uh, I... 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. It uses it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we got to just keep going up to the surface. Okay, so the the oxygen tanks are used automatically. That's good because I was really afraid I was about to die. I think we should have enough. Submarine? Not sure what those th shiny things over there. Slimes? Jellyfish? Looks like jellyfish. Uh, shiny door. Ugh. E. Yeah. Get in there. Uh, oh. Yoink. Um. Why am I here? I guess asking the question, why am I here, there wouldn't ever be an answer. But hey, lots of tanks. I'll never run out of oxygen now. Touched a skull that sort of reminded me of the SCP skull. And I'm not sure which code name it is, but I'm sure a simple type in Google saying SCP skull would bring it up. And then things have gotten weird. No amount of explanations or theorizing would be able to work. There's a lot of oxygen tanks. Will I even be using all these? They're everywhere. Can't go over nine. All right. Let me just uh, ignore any others I find unless I hit eight. Who's ready for the spaghetti? Lex Luthor? W was that Lex Luthor from Justice League? It really sounded like him. Weird. I guess I'm ready for spaghetti. I haven't had spaghetti for a long time, and normally I order a lot of food from, like, ro restaurants using things like, the, you know, Uber app. Not really Uber app, uh, skip the dishes. Thanks. What? Did I get free? I gave him the skull. He? Hmm. He? Can I... Maybe I'm not meant to do that, although the E was there for some reason. I'm gonna assume we're just like, we're freaked out, we're gonna go back in the water and be like, fuck this shit, and go home. Maybe? How did it go? There's a new job ready. Throw phone. <laughs> Coden art substandard shrimp. How did it go? I don't know, I kinda went through a weird mind, mind fuck. It's not much difficulty, and I have no idea why there'd be so many oxygen tanks. I guess just to be merciful, so there's absolutely no way for someone to die. Not even game journalists or people working at Polygon or Kotaku could die. Like, literally, no one could die in this game. And if even game journalists can survive, then it's a super easy game. But, um, I don't know, just short Andy horror game. I can't really say there's anything great about it that made it stand out. Um, but, it, I mean, it was made in... Uh, what was it? They didn't say. But I'd, I'd imagine possibly one week. I think that's what the Summer of Shivers Jam in its time restriction is, is one week. I'm not sure if you're allowed to do more or less, or if you can do a month. 
So I'm going to assume it's a week or 10 days, seven days, 10 days, something around there, something like that. But either way, I don't know. Um, it reminds me of that Swedish lager, the sauna game. What was that? Uh, I, I don't know. I played it before. Sauna. What is it called? Sauna 2000, a Finnish horror game. Uh, it reminded me a lot about that. Not in the same way, not the same language, probably. But it just sort of reminded me of it. But, I don't know. Otherwise, short indie horror game. Um, could be spookier. I'm not sure what the point is, especially with the spaghetti. Are you ready for spaghetti? Is it just like, is it just the developer's sense of humor leaking in there? I'm gonna assume that's it. Because, uh, like, I, I, I was like, okay, we're doing a job. And it reminds me of Uncharted. Uncharted 4. Yeah. Uncharted 4 when you're a retired Nathan Drake and you get the similar job that you had to get stuff that is underwater and you're a retired man getting boring jobs trying to live the thrilling life of being an older male? I, I don't know. But either way, anyone that's played Uncharted 4 will know what I mean. But spaghetti. It made me want to eat spaghetti, but I, I, let me finish that thing before I was going on like a fucking rant about spaghetti. I usually order food from like, what is it? Just a, a phone app where then you know local restaurants can deliver food to you. I swear to God, spaghetti is not an expensive meal in terms of the ingredients. Like you know, it's it's just pasta. It's just pasta, and pasta is not that you know. Pasta is. It's weird. Is it, is it just me? It's just like, pasta is not expensive. It's just noodles. It's just carbs. It's just dough finely made into noodles. And yet, all these restaurants that are like, Italian restaurant, it's always overpriced. You know, It's hard to find cheap but good pasta or Italian restaurants. It's always, oh, Italian, you're paying for Italian food. Eh, give me $50 for this spaghetti marinara. Hey, you know, it's, what the fuck? So I was like, hey, spaghetti. I'm in the mood for spaghetti. I'd love, like, butter spaghetti or just regular spaghetti and meatballs. Maybe with rosé sauce. I don't know, man, any spaghetti. You know what I really miss? I'm trying to remember it now. It's somewhat spaghetti or pasta. What is it called? God damn it. Oh yeah, I miss the one pasta dish I really, really miss, and I'm just too lazy to make for myself, is beef stroganoff. God damn, I miss beef stroganoff. That shit just tastes so fucking good. I miss it so dearly. Anyone else love beef stroganoff? Let me know what's your favorite pasta down below. I'm gonna leave it here so I don't continue rambling about pasta. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Um.